Hi there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I am going to be doing a review on another lot of fragrance which I obtained yesterday. It's going to be an initial impression. I'm just too excited. I always wanted to check this fragrance out. You know, I got it off from one of my brothers in the community. He also gifted me a sample which I'm going to review. It's somewhere there. Uh, there, 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 somewhere there, you know. Where? <laughs> somewhere there, anyway. So that one is an Arabian wood fragrance. I will reveal what that is. Very nice of him. Thank you so much, brother Oishik Bhai, uh, who I bought it from. This is called uh, Ijazi. I did not buy brand new. I bought it like almost full for a very fair deal. But this fragrance is around $25 in market for 100 ml. And these are EDP concentration, right? So really nice packaging. And this fragrance, basically, let me tell you one other thing. I saw the hype on Fragrantica. They say this is uh, similar to Office for Men or a clone of it. And there's already a fair amount of reviews out already. You can check them out. I think um, uh, who did review this? Uh, few reviewers you know like one of the female reviewers she reviewed it i think she did a pretty good job and i'll leave a uh, link below if I, I remember but these fragrances are really good you know like latafa is a budget friendly perfume and on many part they really last a long time so you know i'm like i have been reviewing finding a lot of gems you know reviewing them and it's an honor to do these reviews really nice packaging and design i don't know if they have many in this line this is green in color and uh, golden in the center okay this is edp concentration Got this nice pattern going on okay doesn't look cheap it looks very nice with the holographic sticker here very good quality assurance this is not going to be cloned i believe got this nice design at the sides okay like this or so got the lot of written in arabic and these are made in uae you can see so this is quite fair uh, big packaging quite the same size as my head <laughs> my head is a big head anyway uh oh Okay, never mind. I'll tell you what something nice happened today. So when you open it, it's, it has this, you know, like all this Arabic written, you know, I see Swiss Arabian, Afnan, Latafa, they all have good quality going on, you know, Arabian Oud. So inside the bottle sits nice. There's a nice podium, nice packaging, you know, very beautiful, I would say. And the bottle is really lovely. This reminds me kind of like some of the bottles that have very heavy glass, okay? I'm showing you quality. This reminds me of David of Amber Bland, Leather Bland, you know, like Agar Bland, those bottles, but much heavier. This side, you know, the bottle has very thick glass, which makes it very heavy. And the cap is all metal, very good quality. Nice sticker in front, okay? And it says Ijazi, uh, the name of the house. Take a look at that. The cap has nice detailing on it. Juice color is golden. I think I almost got it almost full. I think maybe few sprays missing only, so which is a very good deal. The cap here, however, uh, it's good. You know, this is one of those caps which has kind of snug fit like snugly but when you pick it up compared to the ratio of the bottle and the cap i think the cap is much lighter even though it's a metal cap it's very heavy cap but the grip is not as good so what i feel you know if you pick it up sometimes it may come off and you knock it off and then you might break the bottle so always be careful so very nice the juice color the, the sticker the paint is very good premium quality bottle very nicely uh, polished i'm sorry there's a mosquito somehow got in my room i came in i'm like oh no try to find it and you know <laughs> send it to next world couldn't find it you know so yeah they do play mind games in bangladesh right so this is that and uh sprayer works really good i'm wearing on my hand and uh this reminds me of something i just cannot put my nose what this is you know but i'll tell you what i got from it oh by the take a look at that it's been like 20 25 minutes look at that oil on my hand arabian perfumes are very oily remember that they put a lot of concentration like higher perfume oil so they last in general a lot much more than designer fragrances so here you go sprayer small small burst not really crazy going on here it's like okay small small about this much nothing to complain because the price point that you're paying very nice and the this is an atomizer so now longevity first of all let's tackle this someone wrote on fragrantica that this is kind of like a weak fragrance it's a shame uh, in my one wearing you know i just wore it once and i reapplied once just to smell it or get the feel of it this fragrance smelled I mean, perform really good, you know, like not like Rastasi Shura or anything or Hawas, but this is a good, it's not a crazy perform, but it's kind of like 8 out of 10 from the first wearing. So it's a solid longevity, you know, wise it's good. Projection was about one and a half hour to almost like one hour, 40 minutes. But at that, after one hour, it gets a little bit not as crazy projector. So overall longevity and projection, this fragrance, you can easily say it, it, it deserves an 8, okay? So 8 for performance, very good. When to wear this? This fragrance has notes like uh, citruses, orange, lavender from Fragrantica, cardamom, myrtle, 
patchouli, pepper, lily of the valleys, cinnamon leaf, ambroxan, woodsy notes, <coughs> amber, cedar, oak moss and vetiver. So I don't know if I get all that. But definitely there is an ambroxan spicy thing going on which carries the fragrance through. Sometimes you go nose blind to it like ISO is super base fragrance or molecule O1, something like Dior Sauvage, Dare Dare Mass. These fragrances play trick on your mind. Sometimes you think they are not there. Bulgaris Tiger uh, and they are like projecting. People can smell it on you. Even like same thing happens with me with Instant Crush by Mansara. So this one has good performance. Okay. So smell wise, the opening is very lovely and this is where I smelled this kind of DNA before you know I can just cannot remember which perfume exactly it was you know uh, maybe some Middle Eastern freshies or maybe a designer or a niche fragrance I don't know if they're trying to copy something but this is anything but office for men if you're looking to buy this as a substitute for this you'll be disappointed okay let me just tell you to my nose nothing alike definitely not even remotely close okay so that's where the comparison ends uh, doesn't even have that performance of office for men but this is a decent performer you'll get easily from the shirt if you wear it in the shirt, it will cover your day's work. Five, six hours easy. Okay, no problem. But uh, keep it in mind, this is like a budget perfume. So for that, it's good. So it's a fresh, spicy Ambroxan fragrance. Okay, very simple. Doesn't change so much. The, I feel there is come something at the back, which is kind of like a synthetic, spicy vibe, like a cardamom slash cinnamon. It's like a mix of those. It's a nice, floral, spicy heart. But the fragrance basically opens up with a lot of citrus, kind of like a green to my nose. And if you ask me, like, let me tell you, if you're wearing this, it, it could be a unique scent. You know, if you're wearing this, you may be a unique person in the workplace. This is a good workplace fragrance, okay? Uh, workplace fragrance as in uh, it's safe, it's fresh, and it does perform like it's kind of like not super like Shura. So it's not going to disturb others, but do not like bathe in it, you know? Some people like to go heavy spray from head to toe. That way you're doing a bit too much, you'll be really oily guy, you know. So you don't want to be the oily guy. Uh, how many sprays? I think three to four sprays just adequate for the one wearing. If you want to respray middle of the day, you can do like double shots. That's about it. Uh, is this going to get any complaints? I don't see so. If you're going to get any compliments, yes, highly likely. But I just didn't wear it enough to get. But I'll show it to my friends, you know, my colleagues or group members, community members. I'll take their opinion. Perhaps I'll do a separate video. But this, in the series of that fragrance I was buying, Pride Purom, um, was the other one, Shock by, uh, you know, that fragrance, Swiss Arabian, and that other one, Turati Blue. I've been buying this gems, little here, there, and gems, you know, like affordable budget perfume. This is definitely one of them. Man, something there, <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is definitely in that little family, you know, very heavy, glass bottle feels good. And even there's fragrances like uh, Afnan has 9 p.m., you know. So they do make lot of Afnan. These two houses are really good. Both houses are very good, solid. I really like this a lot, okay. This is a very inoffensive. In a way, it's unique, you know, and it's very handsome. It's kind of like a Middle Eastern. Think of a fragrance like Amiri, you know. So it has the DNA, like something vibe of it, but Amiri is just super crazy, long-lasting, right. So longevity-wise, let's say longevity projection, I'll give it like not 8. I'll give it like 7.5, you know. Some of you will be like, hey, it's not that strong, it's not like Shura, you know. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, 7.5 for performance, uh, initial wearing, smell is nice and it's a bit unique. Uh, I am keep looking because I feel like the mosquito is biting me, it's in psychology, you know. But I think you can wear this pretty much all year round. But this has a spicy uh, masculine vibe, so it's not totally unisex to my nose. Perhaps they have a female version of it. This is a very uh, masculine, clean, fresh. A guy who likes to be a little bit sexy. Think of if you like wearing Lanvi de Lombe, Bleu de Chanel. It has those vibes, okay? If you think of Jeremy's Office for Men, it has that vibe, like same type, but it's not a clone of any of that, right? So it doesn't have Lanvi de Lombe, Bleu de Chanel, anything in it to make it like a clone. So in that way, I think it's a very good uh, thing because you can own an unique perfume for a good price. It may be original release. As far as I, I would say, I tested many perfumes, but it has the familiar vibe of Middle Eastern perfumes. That's one thing. But if you go to Saudi or Dubai, perhaps you smell a lot. Maybe they have something similar. Overall, I really like this fragrance, okay? This is getting a solid 8 out of 10 initial impression. I feel you can give it a try. If you want to gift it to someone, it's an excellent product. I don't think anybody is going to be unhappy. You can give it to your dad. Maybe a bit masculine man, you know, who likes to be a little bit spicy yet fresh. Like who likes Bulgari man in black, also Spice Bomb or something like Bleu de Chanel. These guys will like this perfume, okay? So Ijazi. I don't know if was the name story behind it, but 
it's, it's a nice little Middle Eastern fragrance. Overall, 8 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. I will try this in winter, perhaps re-review it. I uh, think I'll sign out and do one more list, one more video of list, then I'll upload this. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.